Howdy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you all. This video was filmed last summer and so you all will see that some of the items here I listed um, is dated back from last year. But I still wanted to make sure that I uploaded this haul because I did find some pretty cool goodies at Dollar Tree. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Over the last couple of months I have been shopping around at my various Dollar Trees and I have picked up some new goodies that... I want to share with you all so before I hop into the items that I got from my Dollar Tree um, I did pick up some items from a few other stores um, actually really just one other store the rest of them I think are all Dollar Tree items so the first thing is actually from Amazon this is just a quick item um, so I did pick up a planner um, I have been feeling very just unorganized and out of it lately and so I went ahead and picked me up a planner so that I can get my life together you guys and I really like this one because I love the marble and I love the rose gold coloring and it says she believed she could so she did and yeah y'all y'all gotta just make sure y'all believing in yourselves and not giving up and so I thought this was very fitting so I can look at this model every day and be encouraged and motivated to keep on pushing but yeah it's my 2022 planner and um, I'm not gonna show all the pages so I'm gonna show from May on out because um, I think I got this around May and so the rest of it is filled with my personal information but this is what the planner looks like one of the things I really liked about it was let's show you all so for the full month here it um, gives you like an overview of the month you know when you open it up here and then if you want to you can put down important dates um, within the calendar for like the month overview and then when you go to the actual page itself I really like the fact that it has like these two separate lists here um, and so what I do is anything relating to like my YouTube content and things that I need to do regarding YouTube I put over here on the right hand side and anything that I um, have to do pertaining to my actual small business um, I put over over here on the side in case you all didn't know I'm a small business owner and so um, trying to keep up with both YouTube and my, my business has been a little bit of a challenge for me and so it's nice that I kind of have two separate lists that's like okay this is social media side and this is business so yeah y'all so that is how I'm using it to stay organized and I love that they do it all the way through over here it's the same and then at the bottom um, they have the Saturday and Sunday so this has been very very useful for me like I said I don't want to show too much what I got going on here yeah I've really been enjoying this planner a lot it's been helping me feel like I'm organized and have my life together so I will leave it linked down in the description box in case you all are interested in checking it out the next few items I picked up are actually from my um I think I got them from okay yeah I got them from Marshall's so these are some more spikes racks I paid seven dollars for these and I was excited to find more of these so I actually have these spikes racks for storing my nail polishes and so I want to see I do want to see how bigger size bottles of this would fit and so yeah I really like these a lot I actually have these in my wardrobe already and so you all can store full 15 ml bottles like two of them here so let's see that's one so you can store about 12 of them on each row so 12 times 3. so you can store like 36 polishes on these spice racks which I think is really awesome and so um, I really like these spice racks a lot so I got this to fill up my wardrobe so I have not one of these but I got two of them so yeah y'all I thought this was a good steal finding these for $6.99 is a really good deal so if y'all happen to go to your, like your Marshalls or your Ross or TJ Maxx or anything like that and you find these spice racks for under 10 bucks I highly recommend them because I think on Amazon they're like 15 to 20 dollars so yeah I thought these were a really good deal so you all to see me organize these very soon and these are not only good for gel polishes you can also like store dip powders acrylics and things like that on here so yeah I like these a lot now on to the items that I got from my local Dollar Tree okay so the first thing I found at Dollar Tree y'all was these really beautiful jars so I thought this would be really cute to store like monomer or acrylic or acetone in it is a glass bottle and I love that it has like this little crystal for the lid and it has like the little suck cup to kind of close it so if you did decide to put monomer in it I do feel like the smell will be contained but I just thought this was absolutely adorable so I might have this out in my nail room um, y'all see that it matches my decor so I thought this would be pretty cool so I do have 
um, two of these. I picked up two of them. I, like I said, I might store one with alcohol and one with monomer in it. But you know, just trying to be a little fancy. Just trying to be a little fancy. So I thought that was real cute. Like she real cute though. Next thing I picked up was this sketchbook. I did to get this from my plus section at my Dollar Tree. And I recently got some fingernail stampers where I can stamp like the nail and just the shape of it and actually draw in the design that I want to do. Currently I've been using Currently I've been using this booklet right here, which is where I've been storing like my nail designs and such in. And so I figure once this runs out, um, I wanna start using my little stamper that I got. And so um, I bought this sketchbook to put it in. And so yeah, it's just a basic sketchbook here and it has 150 pages. So that's what that looks like. Now, before I found the book that I just showed you, this is what I had purchased. And this only comes with 30 sheets. And again, it's just like another sketchbook here. So I'm not actually going to keep this because I feel like the other book was better. And I have bought two of these too. So this ended up equaling 250 for 60 pages, whereas the other book was 150 pages for $3. So this was a better deal. But my younger sister, she does like to draw. She actually is an artist. And so I figured I would just go ahead and pass these along to her because I know she'll get some great use out of it. But yeah, I found these at Dollar Tree. So if y'all are interested and need some, they are there. I also found these little mats there. Um, I don't know. I got them thinking that they would be cool for like a background, which, okay, it don't look too bad for a background. So maybe, maybe I could use it as a background. But yeah, that's what I picked them up for. But um, I don't know if I'm actually going to use it for that it's actually just like a placemat but um, I picked it up in both this beautiful kind of brown color and then also like this gray color yeah I think this could work as a background if I wanted it to that's pretty cute let's see yeah that looks good what do you guys think maybe I'll use it as a background so yeah again that's the the grayish the grayish black one and then this is kind of that brown one. I think I do like it. Okay, so yeah, I have another background here. I also picked this up. I thought this would be just cool to have like a big surface for like a mixing plate in the event that I needed to sort out diamonds or crystals or if I wanted to mix different gel colors and things like that. Um, just to have like a bigger surface area to work on because right now like my palettes are like this small. And so um, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to just have more surface area for mixing and things like that. And this is actually a candle holder. Actually, I didn't know that. So this is actually a candle holder, but I'm going to purpose it as a mixing plate. Also found this. Um, these are some iron-on arts. I just thought they were really cute. Um, so I'm planning on just taking just like a plain t-shirt, which Dollar Tree also sells t-shirts as well. Um, oh, I should have hauled that for you guys. I bought a lot of like um, Looney Tune and um, like uh, Merlin Moreau, Betty Boop type shirts from Dollar Tree. They were like in the plus section, they were $5. I completely forgot, I've been wearing them and everything now, but yeah, I got a couple of shirts in there too. But I thought these are really cute. It's a blinged out lion, so I plan on putting these on a shirt and I got two because I'm gonna make one for me and make one for hubby. So yeah, I got these. I also picked up these little sequins. I thought these were really cute. So it comes with like, different type of birds and palm trees in one. This one has like really big, beautiful sequins, circular dot sequins. And this one has like really cute little like pineapples and flowers and such. So I just thought these were really cute. Thought they'd be fun for some nail art. So yeah, these are just like some confetti pieces. I also picked up some measuring spoons. Um, I do have these downstairs in my kitchen, but I wanted to buy a designated set to have up here in my nail room. And this is for when I start doing my um, homemade acrylic mixes, when I start doing glitter mixes and just making my own custom colors and stuff um, that I can actually know my measurements and stuff and write out, you know, how I actually made um, a particular color so I just got these for that I also found this really cute little cat dish oh my gosh y'all ain't she cute though yes like I am in love this little cat is too cute with the little sunglasses okay so y'all know me I am a sucker for cats they're absolutely adorable absolutely cute um this little dish here I also got this is where I temporarily start, store my nails that I pop off and so y'all know this is like a little cat dish that I got from Dollar Tree as well not too long ago and so yeah when I saw this I had to pick it up and of course she matches the decor in the room but I got this for a mix and plate you guys so when I am mixing seeing different colors and things like that. I just thought this was so adorable and so cute. So yeah, I picked this up. I also got found this really cool storage container here. So the storage container is snaps closed like this 
right and so I thought this was pretty cool you know this is something where you can store nail stickers nail art charms um, swatch sticks you name it you know you can let your imagination run wild but you can never have enough storage so I bought this to put inside of my wardrobe for storage purposes I also found this cute little trash can you guys like I know I've already hauled a few different trash cans from Dollar Tree but I think this one is actually my favorite one um, the color is not my favorite but I love the fact that it has like this little you know when you want to put something in here like it just flips open and closed and it's a pretty big size too so yeah I got this just to have at the corner of my nail desk and or on the floor next to my nail desk and as I'm doing my sets I could just throw my trash away so yeah I thought this was pretty cool I recently just hauled this huge basket let me see if I can zoom all the way out for you guys okay this is just a huge basket that I plan to keep next to my nail desk and the primary reason I got this was to store um, PR in so that um, I can keep track um, of what I want to film or what I need to film and so any PR items that I get I'm just gonna put it inside of this little tub here and then um, cover it with like my little fur rug and then that way whenever I'm getting ready to film or sitting it sitting down to film I can just dig in this box and start filming whether it's for PR and or nail and or nail hauls that I need to film I'll just start putting all of my nail stuff in here and then that way it'll be in one central location because right now y'all my stuff is all over the place so I found this cute little tub and for a buck 25 you really can't beat it so I picked this up next I picked up this really big sketchbook I got this for my daughter I mean I don't know if I really should be including this in this haul but I just thought it was really cute so I am going to um, have this in my daughter's room and we'll just have this on the floor and this is cute it shows like different drawing ideas and such I just saw it when I was checking out it was, it was like an impulse buy but I thought it was really cute so it has like all these big old pages and so as she is wanting to like draw and explore her creativity I wanted to make sure she had space to do that so I got her a nice big old sketchbook next I picked up some more of these little storage containers so I actually really like these little organizer baskets I'm gonna show you all what I'm currently using these for in my nail room so typically when I have to do a set I actually I go shopping in my nail room now <laughs> Yeah, that's how you know you got too much stuff when you can go shopping in your nail room. But I take one of these little baskets and I go to my nail wardrobe and I literally just look and search for all the items that I need for a particular set. And I'll just throw all the items in my little basket. And so I'll have this sitting next to me. I'll have this sitting on my nail desk ready to film. And this has been really helpful for me. Um, one, keeping all of my items in one location for one particular set, especially if I need to film like two or three or four different sets um, in like like a week or something like that I have all the items and supplies I need for that particular set in one location um, and so this is also one that I recently did um, I did some like luxury nails and so I put away most of the things already but um, what I do is after I do my set I actually put the items that I use back in here so that when I need to put the items back away um, I can just use this little basket and just go and put things back away so it's kind of like a little store I got here <laughs> in my little nail room and so I have been really loving these a lot and so yeah these are great for like I said going shopping and kind of pre-planning your nail looks and or it's really good for storing it's really good for sorting out your drawers and such I also use it inside of my drawers so these are some great multi-purpose items and another thing I really like about these is that you can actually attach them together so I'll show you all the ones that's already open um, these actually do attach to one another so you can link them together if you'd like so yeah I really really like these a lot I actually picked up some food coloring I know this seems like a really random item Item, but I actually got this idea from one of my nail sisters so shout out to you Carrie over at iNails she suggested that I should put some food coloring inside of monomer to see if I can create like a colored acrylic so I thought that was a really cool idea and so I am going to be trying this out so that is why I picked up some food coloring I'm going to be trying it out with coloring my acrylics I also picked up some more nail storage containers here so this is similar to the small square ones I just showed you but they're just a little bit longer and they're rectangular and they do also attach as well let's see if I can get this one open yeah and these do also and these do also attach as well so that is really cool I picked it up in the clear and the gray I did pick up further storage items for sorting out your drawers so these are also really cool too 
these were in like the back to school section and so it came in three different colors it came in pink a lavender color and gray and then i also love the fact that these also can link together as well so i got these to further sort and organize my drawers so this was a really good deal this is another random item, but we ran out of straws in the house, so I picked up me some straws. And I might actually keep a few of these straws here in my nail room. I saw on Nails by Nelly channel, shout out to you darling, she actually does marble nails using a straw. So I am going to put a few of these here in my nail room, but I did pick these up for the purposes of drinking. <laughs> But I do want to try out that nail hack that she showed on her video. So yeah, I got me some straws. Okay, next I picked up some more organization items. So I was really excited to find this and I'm surprised this was only $1.25. It came with five desk organizers and I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna pop this open with you guys just to show you. So yeah, this is an amazing steal, you guys. So it comes with three of these really tiny little cubbies which also all interlock, right? It came with this longer piece right here, which also interlocks to what's here, right? And then it came with this really um, big rectangular one. So you get one, two, three, four, five organization items that all work together and interlock if you want them to and or can be stored separately for a dollar and 25 cents like i thought that was like a ridiculous deal so again you guys i am organizing my not only my nail room though but also other areas of my house like my nightstand um my um kitchen drawers um everything i'm organizing the whole entire house and so i can't have enough of this stuff yeah i thought this was a really good deal i wish they had have had more of these particular containers because i would have bought at least like five of them because i mean you get so many of them for a dollar 25 i mean imagine i just picked up three of these for a buck 25 i mean and granted these are a lot bigger but still you know i could have got three of these plus this one and this one for dollar 25 so yeah i thought that was an amazing steal so yeah y'all make sure y'all are shopping around make sure y'all are shopping around at y'all dollar trees and thoroughly examining every aisle because maybe the goodies are there okay so i got this this is not particularly nail related but i had to show them um i am a sucker for these ioni um lashes from Dollar Tree y'all I have gotten so many of these it's not even funny I actually had intended to do a, a, a Dollar Tree lash haul I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that but um, I have a ton more lashes from Ioni there was at one point they put out a new display and I'm not gonna lie I pretty much bought every last one of the pairs of lashes and this was even back when they were still like everything was still a dollar these were a dollar and 25 but it's still a not a bad price for some 3d foaming lashes and y'all these lashes last a a long time when I say I can rewear them at least five to seven times before I got to toss them like these are some really good lashes and so yeah I picked up four more of these because I really love these again not nail related but I picked this up I thought it was kind of cool this is just a brow and lash brush slash comb I did pick up this notebook too this is for just planning purposes um, when I want to plan out different types of videos and stuff related to the business things like that um, I have them here I have it here in one location so that when I want to look back on different ideas things I have did things I haven't done I can um, have it all here um, and I wanted something separate outside of my planner because my planner I really just want to have as like a to-do list um, and then actual ideas and such I wanted to have in a separate notebook and I love this design and I love that it says good vibes only because this is something that I live by. I'm only here for good vibes, y'all. So if y'all have made it this far, leave me a yellow heart down in the comments if y'all are here for good vibes as well, okay? So yeah, I got this. I do have some really exciting items to share with you all. So I was watching the deal guy. If you all have not checked him out, you definitely should. He's always talking about different deals you can find on um, different deals you can find at Dollar Tree, Sam's Club, Costco, Amazon, uh, you name it. He's talking about even Aldi, you guys. So he talks about all different types of deals. I love watching him. He's such an animated character. And so he did a Dollar Tree, um, the top 10 things you should be buying at Dollar Tree. And y'all, he found pegboards. And when I say I went to my Dollar Tree, and they had them I was so excited I think I took a picture of the display if I did I'm gonna leave it um, linked here on the screen but y'all look at what I found y'all I found some pegboards at my local Dollar Tree now I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit so y'all can see uh, but it is just a square shaped pegboard and I y'all these are on Amazon for like $40 for just four of them 
I got them at my Dollar Tree for a dollar and 25 cents and I think I bought a total of either 10 or 11 of them just because I'm trying to further organize things in my home office um, and I wanted to have these pegboards because you can hang things off of them and I'm gonna show you all, all the accessories I got to put with it so this is what it looks like outside of the packaging right and so all of the different accessories I got here is one of the accessories and this is like a shelf that you can put on the pegboard so I'm gonna get this out the packaging here and show you and this is a shorter shelf actually so I'm gonna take this one out and show you guys what it looks like this is what it looks like after you open it up and then you literally just as it's hanging on the wall you would just insert it into these peg pieces right and then now you have a shelf right and so I got the shorter shelf and I also got the longer shelf like I just showed you all but I just love the fact that the opportunities are endless with how you want to do this I plan to actually anchor this in my closet because um, I don't want to have too many things out on display but I want to put these in my closet and so I'll be able to store things on it like this so this is just one way right it also came with these cool little hooks and so for these hooks I thought it'd be really cool to put it all the way at the bottom of the pegboard and maybe hang my swatch sticks from it so let me show you all the idea I have here so this is just a few of my rings of swatch sticks that I have right so I thought it would be kind of cool Oops. so I thought it would be kind of cool if I had just hung my swatch sticks off of here originally I had purchased hooks to hang them off of so yeah I could hold like so many swatch sticks on here so I thought that was a great way to just like save space but also still have all of my swatch sticks out so yeah that's why I got that so these hooks came in a pack of six so the opportunities are endless with that um, they also had these type of hooks which are a little bit smaller and shorter um, they also had these types of hooks y'all I got everything that I saw there I'm not gonna lie to you but they also had these type of hooks here which comes with three and then this right here is the actual way to adhere it to your wall so you will screw these parts onto your wall first and then the back of this would pop right on into there right so that's how you actually install it but I just thought this was just genius you know and for such a low price like I think all together I maybe spent like 50 or 60 dollars on all the accessories that I have shown and I'm about to show you guys plus all of the boards and like I said on Amazon just for these boards alone it was like $40 for just four of them four panels and I got like I think maybe 10 or 12 panels I can't really remember how many I got but I got enough to be able to do the inside of my closet the way I was wanting to so these are just the hooks that I got and some of the shelves they also had a cup holder you guys this was so cool so let me show you all so they also had a cup that you could put on here so I thought this would be pretty cool if just gonna hook it on here like this like obviously this isn't how I would like store things but you know this would be cool if I wanted to maybe like I don't know store monomer I could store my alcohol bottle here I could store like um pens and pencils different makeup brush so yeah y'all the possibilities are endless with this particular pegboard and then one other accessory that I got for it was this really cool it's kind of like it's they call it ring hooks but essentially you can maybe put like a bottle or something let me show you so these are just different rings that can hook onto here and so you can hook it on like this right like so and then if you wanted to you can put like a bottle on here or something like that so I don't know I just thought it was so cool so I definitely wanted to make sure I snagged all the accessories that I saw but y'all is this not dope I have plenty to make a nice rectangular space in my closet but I just I love the idea of this and I love to be able to further sort and organize things so that everything can have a home so I'm hoping to do a video where I film me actually installing my pegboard in my closet so so let me know down in the comments if that's something that you all actually want to see and if so I'll definitely get to working on that because I'm actually pretty excited about this project so yeah that is this I also found this really cute cup at Dollar Tree um, I bought it just for the purposes of maybe storing like some of my brushes or nail art tools in it I just thought it was really cute and really fancy so I'll be putting this out on the nail desk just for easy access to my tools 
oh it's a pebble glass so you're supposed to put the pebbles in here and make it look all cute but I plan on using it as like a little brush holder I did find some more stickers at Dollar Tree and I thought these would be really cool to do like some different nail art with and so these are just like little tiles and so I thought it'd be cool to maybe cut these and maybe have them be like a strip on the nail maybe have it going down the middle maybe have it going down the middle of the nail or off to the side but I definitely got these to try to maybe like encapsulate and play around with nail art um, I also found these which is really really pretty again they're nice tiles that just have like all these different designs on them that will be fun to just try and test out with nail art so I got these I also found these kind of like puffy stickers and it just has the alphabet on it not really sure what I'm gonna do with it but I thought they were cute and they are you know small enough to get on the nail so you know if I wanted to maybe spell a word out put one letter on each nail I could or if I had you know some extra long nails or something like that I could spell um, something out going up and down so I just got these I thought they were cute I picked up some adhesive pearl wrap um, I don't need like I'm not really sure why I got these I'm pretty sure I got them from nail art purposes too but I do do some craft projects here and there so um, it could be used for either or I also picked up some more chalkboard labels. So in my um, laundry room, I did organize and sort everything. So I thought these would be really cute to stick on the white bands that I have in my laundry room and just kind of label everything. So I got these. And I thought this was really cool, but this is like a hanging organizer tray. And I got this to maybe hang off the side of my nail desk and or the side of my wardrobe, but just to kind of further organize things with like, you know, different nail art or whatnot. And I love that it comes with the screws that you need to install it. So I picked this up. I also picked this little tray up again you guys it's just another alternative to a mixing plate this is actually a soap dish that they sell at the Dollar Tree but I thought it would be pretty cool just to have as another mixing plate option um, this is another one of my mixing plates that I use but I noticed that like the material that it's made out of it easily like stains and messes up and so I think with this one since it's more I don't know it seems like it's a slicker surface um, I hope I'm thinking I won't have that problem with this, so I did pick that up. Okay, y'all, so I only got like two more items. Thanks for hanging in there with me so far. I also picked up this huge bin here, and I got these just to further organize underneath my, um, I got these to organize underneath my, um, my sink okay so this isn't really for the nail room but you could totally use these in the nail room if you have like bins of like old like nail lamps if you have like dust collectors just like bigger items I have like huge bottles of monomer and things like that you can store all of your excess nail supplies in here if you wanted to but I bought them for the purposes of organizing my uh, underneath my sink and last but definitely not least you guys is I picked this up this is probably the my favorite item that I hauled from this entire haul and that I ever got got from Dollar Tree um, it is uh, just a sketchbook but I absolutely love the fact that it ha has all of these diverse hands on here and it's talking about nails y'all like this right here I thought this was like absolutely perfect to have for me in my nail room and this is another book that I bought for the purposes of putting all of my nail designs in okay and so like I said I got these nail stamps where you can stamp them and I just plan on just stamping different like five nails back to back five nails side by side and then drawing out my nail designs I just absolutely love how this looks I did get this from the plus section of my Dollar Tree and it was five bucks but definitely well worth it it's a nice sturdy book I like the beautiful gold ring on it and like I said I just love um, all of these uh, different hands and I just feel like it's really representative of the actual nail community itself I just love the fact that it doesn't matter where we come from or what we all are doing we are all connected via the love of nails I just want to actually just give a big thank Thanks to everybody that's in the nail community thank you guys for being on this journey with me um, it's been nothing short but great and so yeah I just think it's awesome that you know we are all united and found this common ground this common love of just nails you know just doing nails so yeah y'all that is everything that I got from my Dollar Tree this is everything that I picked up at my recent Dollar Tree haul I know it was a long one but I hope it was a good one you guys I love absolutely everything that I hauled and 
I think my favorite item that I hauled, honestly, it was this book. I just absolutely love it. Um, so let me know what your favorite, favorite item was that I picked up. Definitely do not sleep on Dollar Tree when it comes to organization and finding like really cool things, not only for your nail room, but also things for your house in general. Make sure to shop around at your different Dollar Tree locations. That's how I'm able to find some of these awesome and unique items. I don't just shop at one location. I actually go and shop around at different locations. So again, these hauls were things that I accumulated over the last couple of months. And then when I get a lot of stuff, I just go ahead and film one huge haul for you guys. And so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If y'all are curious on the beautiful set that I have on here, I will leave a full tutorial of it linked down in the description box below. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if y'all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!